Hello, greetings, and welcome to what is totally not um, World War II anime style. Yes, this is Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, I decided to have a go at this because I thought it would actually make quite a good game for Let's Playing, because it seems like quite an entertaining game with historical parallels and, you know, just perhaps even a bit of strategy we could go through. Now, I played, like, the first mission, but we'll go through it again, because I decided after that. So here we go. The totally and completely the not Europe. 1935 EC. Two powers controlled the continent. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance. It even says Euro European, the European there. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral, Ragnite, for their survival. And its growing scarcity led to the inevitable war. Yes, the war Ragnited. In the east, when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border, the Atlantic Federation responded, and the Second European War... Oh, a on. second one? When was the first one, I wonder? The Subtle. I'm surprised they're not goose stepping. Struck hard, gaining ground in early victories and putting the Federation in defensive. Oh, ammo racks! Progress and momentum. The Empire set their sights beyond the borders of the Federation. In neighboring Gallia, they're invading the Klingons now. Along the sea, they found their next victim. Gallia Amiens. They've even mixed a place from France. Amiens. Stores of Ragnar under the <laughs> and of course, soil, Panzer divisions. Too tempting for the Empire. It amassed troops along the eastern border and invaded with all the force of an avalanche. It's, they've even marked them PZ Panzer Division. It's it's Prologue, it's the Second Gallia World War. Arms. Why don't they just call it that? Though I suppose you know, having anime World War II, if it had been just straight like that, that would have seemed a bit um uh. <laughs> I don't know, um, what you call it, blunt, or perhaps offensive to some people, to March, see World War II like that. Oh well, Outside can't wait to see anime Hitler. Trouble was brueling. <laughs> Ow. And that honey is why we had to sell and then Residents eat your hamster. Headed inland towards the capital. But mommy, how does that make any sense? Just shut up and keep walking. Uh, son, you may be walking in the wrong direction. It's where the enemy I is, you know. Been down this road in years, it really hasn't changed very much. You could say it's a long and winding road that leads to your door. Whoa. Oh my God! Already? Fish! Hey there, guys. Um, is she talking to us? Beautiful. Starting early this year. Um. Heading upstream, huh? How's the water? Well, pretty powerful, cause we can't fucking move. Ah, uh, freak. These fish are my friends. I will sketch them. Oh, Freeze. busted! Hands in the air. I guess you could say he was caught acting fishy. <laughs> Sorry. Haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Um, uh, my name's Welkin, and you are the one with the gun. <laughs> We're with the Brueltown Watch. Hello, the one with the gun. Alicia. Pleasure to meet you, Alicia Melkiot. So, I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. Imperial spies are in the area. Just how all great love stories begin <laughs> with an armed nothing, confrontation. Really. I was just sketching the fish and uh, you know Is that a euphemism? Yes. Oh, I know. I know about young men sketching their fish. And you know there's a war on, don't you? All right then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take why, him away. Why can't we talk about it here? Uh, uh, 
Thanks, fish. Don't blame us, you twat! So they basically divided all this up into, you know, different things. Twas a fighting squad! Turns out we're working for the Germans. Hours, bugs and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? But you really could use some say, social skills. Really very good. Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or this could be some kind of secret code. A very and stupid I secret my code. Finding out for sure. <sighs> Great. Welks, is that you? Isara. Oh, your timing is perfect. Hello, Sister Chan. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Wait. Don't you live at the old general's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes, I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. What? <gasps> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the scrapes I these kids get up to. But I was just doing my job, you know. Arresting you for no reason particularly. Again, I'm really sorry about and then I saw the notebook, saw that you were just drawing Don't fish, worry. and continued to call you a spy. Wilkes has a real passion for observing nature. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Yes, nature job. studies. I so into it sometimes, I forget where I am. Or that <laughs> I'm taking a course in watching. nature. Does he feel like somebody's watching him? Gunfire! Everyone keep your heads down! Well, you can tell she's a trained professional. Over there! Oh hello, I'm sure you will be very nice and oh 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 I'm sure you'll definitely not be, you know, anime Nazis. Damn it! Speaking of anime Nazis, do you know that um I believe in Dragon Ball Z at one point, Trunks and Goten fought gun, right? anime Hitler. Yeah, I mean I made it through training anyway. How? Why do I know these things? They're probably just a small scouting team. So you know, taking we a human should life shouldn't be a problem out. for you. I'm with you. I learned how to fire a gun, therefore I'm completely psychologically prepared for being able to kill another human being. About saving this game, blah, 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 saving, saving, yes. Uh, Encounter at Brule. Do you want to go, Brule? Do you want to go, Brule? Okay, here's the plan. Right, we've got a plan and it shows us the entire map. We're already thinking on a bit of a grand scale here. We've got to eliminate the Imperial Scouts that are approaching Brule. We'll deploy from here and take out all three of them. Just cross the bridge and take them down as fast as you can. Our objective here is to eliminate all enemies. Let's take care of them one at a time, nice and easy. All Victory. All enemies are defeated. Failure. Welkin dies, Alicia dies, or 20 turns pass. Let's get started. Just stay calm and get it done. Get it done. We are now working for Admiral Jellico of Starfleet. Oh, you know, <coughs> they did attack the Federation, so it would make sense. Let's go, shall we? I see three of them. I'm just kind of staring off into the distance. So am I! Too many. Stay sharp. Stay frosty. Listen a second. There's something I should explain. About command points. When combat starts, you see a map of the area in the unit's position. This is command mode, so all this is command mode. You'll select the unit and how you'd like to move in position with respect to the enemy, blah blah blah. Who takes up command points? So you've got these two modes, basically. You've got this and you've got um, the on-the-ground movement. Action points. Yeah, so, yeah, it's, it's basically... You use the action points and you have a limited number. So that bar at the bottom shows what you can and can't do. Press the E button to enter target mode. Headshots. Blah, blah, blah. Aim for the head and... Yeah! I killed my first man! 
A unit with zero remaining AP has already performed an attack, is unable to attack further. Press mouse 2 to end the current action. Yes! Yes! I'm now officially a murderer! Go over. Um, what's the go over thing? It's just, it's just a sign in the middle that says go over, but I don't know what that means. Well, I know what it means. Hmm. Yes, let's use some cover, shall we? I prefer to hide behind this rock. Yes, yes, let's keep, keep everybody alive, yes. Okay. I'm just going to stay here. Alright, then that's end of that, I think. Um, oh god, what's the button to end this? Ah! It's falling apart already. Oh no, wait, it was middle mouse. Yes, that was it. I am highly professional at this. My turn, okay? Time for me to become a murderer as well. Ow! You fucking bitch! And now let's just crouch behind here. And... Yes, let's end the current action. And now over to Random Town Watchman. He's gonna be my favourite character. So you can see it's, it's an interesting sort of blend of genres, so you have sort of like top-down strategy and it's kind of turn-based but at the same time not. Ow! Don't you hurt Random Town Watchmen! Ow! Ow! Stop it! Stop peppering Town Watchmen with bullets! No! You evil anime Nazis. Each player constitutes a single turn. Key is to finding balance. Okay, now it's the enemy's turn. Yes. Oh no. No. Not the evil Nazis. They're coming for us. Ow. Yeah, thank you. Yeah! I'm a murderer too! Oh, I like this. They sort of dynamically hide. That's quite cool. <laughs> she can't hit for shit though. Oh, did he not bother then? Alright. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah, blah, blah, blah. You can use it multiple times for multiple people. Here we go. Okay, Wilkin. Let's get you in cover. I want... I want Town Watchman. This... He's going to be the hero. He's the hero our country needs. Yeah! Boom! Town Watchman saves the day! Yay! We've turned back the invasion! Poland is safe. I don't see any more of them. So yes, as you can see that this this whole thing is sort of judged by how well you do in these and you can have sort of interesting dynamics. So let's just end the prologue, and then I will hopefully be able to edit this in my brand new or um, in my brand new editing software. Yes, I've actually got something better than Windows Movie Maker. Excuse me. <laughs> let's pee on them. There's no other sign of the enemy. That's disrespectful, sir. Good. Now, go keep watch and stay alert. Yes, ma'am. Don't uh, attend to the body of your fallen we comrade. Do with the bodies, ma We'll bury them. 
and then dance on their graves. I'll do whatever it takes to protect the people of this town. Including set off a nuclear warhead. Even going to war, I'll do it. Remember, Highlander, you both still have your full measure of life. Seeds from the lion's paw. It blooms white, small, simple, and strong. I want to be able to remember, once the war is over, that it wasn't all just people killing people. Yes, there's some good sides to war. war. There was also... New life. I mean, it's principally about people killing people in various horrible ways, but you know. On the 15th day of the third month of the year 1935, the Empire began its assault in earnest. Well, what did Ernest A do? A formal declaration of war was made upon Gallia. Though it was only a small front in a massive continental assault, what followed would prove that a tiny nation could best a military giant. Spoilers, guys! These events would tell a story of tragedy hidden in the mists of time. Well, we can't quite see them, so we can't make a them out. A story of courage and of trust, of persecution and hate. And people killing people. There was lots of that. And of love blooming even through the flames of war. Which makes it all okay. What follows is a record of this conflict, and of those who fought, lived, and died. And got dysentery. See, I make, I make sort of flippant comments, but that's actually, you know, it's, it's a fairly effective way of starting. So... So we've gone on to the first chapter. So what I'll do, what I'll do is I'll save here, I'll edit it, upload it, whatever, and then we'll get back to this. So uh, I hope it's been in some way mildly entertaining, guys. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, until next time, see you then.